Hello, welcome to another episode of Digital Goulash. I'm your host, Chucky, and today I'm going to take you through imprinting a digital tattoo on someone's body. Now, I've went through quite a few of these different tutorials just to check them out, and the thing that I noticed about the digital tattoos, one of the things that don't doesn't make them realistic is the fact that they don't wrap well around the body. So I'm going to use a diff couple different techniques. I'm going to be using the displacement map technique. Now one of the reasons why I picked Bridget Moynihan is the fact that she has a little tattoo right here. So when we finish this we're going to kind of check out our tattoo versus the tattoo that she already has. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to find a real nice channel under our channels palette right here that has a good contrast in her skin tone. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of these. Uh, there's the RGB. I'm going to click on the green layer and you can see that that's got some nice contrast in there. got some nice tonal values. We're going to go ahead and correct that a little bit but for now I'm going to pick the green layer for skin tone. I'm going to click this little thing right here, this funny little drop down box. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to create a duplicate channel and in this duplicate channel we're going to see a dialog box that comes up and I want to create a new image and the thing that I'm going to call it is displacement map I'm going to select OK and that's going to create a new image here then I'm going to hit Command L or Control L to get our layers dialog box. I'm going to drag this in. That's going to brighten it up some, but I'm also going to take this over and make it just a bit darker. Take the midtones here, but I'm going to also drop that over here. Okay, keep going, keep going until we've got a nice contrast there. I'm going to select OK. Now you can see that we've got some nice, I'm going to put this tattoo right on her leg, so we've got some nice areas right here. Now once we are done with this, just going to save that particular file out. Just going to save it out as a PSD. So I'm going to do a save as. And on my desktop I'm just going to call it displacement map PSD. Just going to save it just as it is. I've already done this tutorial a couple times, so I'm just going to replace the file that I have already there. I'm going to go ahead and close that tab. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to get her back into full color. So I'm going to go back to my channels. I'm going to click on RGB and there she is in full color again. Now I have a tattoo that I've downloaded. I found one on the internet from a free site. I'm going to go ahead and click on my tattoo there and I'm going to select my move tool. I'm going to grab my image here. I'm going to drag it on top of this tab and hold on to it until my picture shows up. And then, okay, let's try this again. Let's go ahead and drag that on top of there. Then I'm going to go ahead and let go. And I'm going to place this there. Now we do have to do some scaling here. The first thing that I'm going to do so I can see this a little bit better is some of the other different tutorials that you see there will ask you to use the magic wand, get rid of the white. I'm not going to do that. I'm kind of lazy here with my tutorial, so I'm just going to select my layer and click on it and change it to multiply. And what that's going to do is that's just going to get rid of the white there for us. So you can see that that really quickly got rid of the white. And on a black and white image it's a miracle tool to use. Now I'm going to click Command T or Control T on Windows and I'm going to hold this out a little bit and I'm going to change this around a bit. I'm going to can't see that too well but I'm going to select this. I'm also going to hold the shift key down and I'm going to make this a lot smaller for her leg. I'm going to come over here try and get this on her leg somewhere so that it looks like it is being displaced well. So let's go ahead and get it as best we can on top of her leg. 
Now this is where we could just take our layer and change the opacity and then we would be done except for the fact that it wouldn't look real. I'm going to hit the enter key and there is our tattoo but obviously comparing it to the other tattoo it doesn't look very real. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to work on this with our displacement map. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go into the filter under distort and displace. Now I'm just going to leave these in the standard default settings, say OK, and then it's going to ask me which map I want to use. Now I called this the displacement map and you can see there's a little picture of her. I'm going to select OK and if you look at that now that has kind of wrapped this around her leg. It's kind of taken the tattoo and wrapped it around her leg. Now once again this doesn't look very real as compared to the other one. We have a few things that we need to do with this. So what I like to do is I like to go over here and I like to take our image and I want to go to adjust and make sure that we're on our layer one and I'm going to go to the hue and saturation because it's going to give me a lot of great things that I can do here. And the first thing that I want to do is see the slider bar right here. You notice that after a while the black tattoos what they do is they don't turn, they start turning a kind of a greenish color. I'm going to click colorize and then I'm going to take this to the right some and uh, I'll show you a little bit. You can see at the very bottom of the video that I'm going to take it over. It's going to start to get a little bit on the bluish side here, kind of a bluish green. And then I'm going to take this saturation up way way up so that it's starting to look more like it's been there for a while. And then I'm going to take the lightness scale over. And you can see that if I took it way over it's kind of starting to look blue but I just want it to be maybe like she's gotten a, a new tattoo and it hasn't been there for a long time. So I've taken the lightness up, I've taken the saturation and I've taken the hue and let's uh, make it even maybe a little bit more blue so now what we have is comparing it to here you can see that that's very light but it kinda has that blue hue to it and once I'm done with it I'm gonna select OK now the next thing that we need to do is go to filter and we're going to go into blur and I'm gonna do a very slight Gaussian blur I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna leave it about 0.5 pixels because you notice that uh, tattoos kinda get a little bit blurry after a little while so I'm gonna select OK. Now we still have this done and it's a little bit dark so we could go to our final piece here and we could go over to our opacity on our layer 1 select that and take down our opacity just a little bit and then come over here and there we go, we've got this tattoo right here, and if she did get this tattoo about the same time as the other one, then you can see that they're pretty much the same color. It's kind of got that bluish tint that starts happening after the tattoo starts getting a little bit old, and then you can see that the tattoo is wrapping around her leg using the displacement map. Now due to the 10 minute limitation of YouTube I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video but hopefully you will watch it once or twice again and you'll figure out how to use the multiply on the layers palette. You can find the channel usually a person is good if they're lit well the green channel is a good one create a displacement map and then go under your filter and go to distort and uh, displace that and you can have a really great looking tattoo there so catch you around on another tutorial uh, go ahead and comment and let me know how this one went talk to you later